Greetings tankers, my name is Adam Selgrove and welcome to Best Replays. In this episode, we'll showcase you a 1v1 no gold duel, a monster carry in a 1 2 one and one of the craziest last stands I've ever seen. Oh and of course our favourite screenshots at the very end, can't forget that. So make sure to like and subscribe as we get straight into the video. Our first set of replays comes from the annual tournament organised by the NAR. A 1 vs 1 knockout in which the rules were simple. No gold ammo allowed while using any tank your heart desires. As long as it's a tier 5. With the finals being played on Pilsen between Pluto and Toyatu. with Pluto winning round 1 by opting for the 57mm gun on the KV-1 and DPMing down Toyatu. While the second round was won by Toyatu, opting for a long-range engagement in which the 76mm gun of the T1 Heavy proved superior. And now, in the third and final round, it's all or nothing for both players. Toyatu is once again attempting to force a long-distance engagement, Oh, but what is this? Pluto has opted for the 85mm gun instead, throwing in another surprise. Understandably, both players are taking a cautious approach, neither wanting to throw their HP away early. But as the minutes pass, who will be the first one to commit to an engagement? Ooh, nice catch by Pluto right there. The KV-1 does hit significantly harder with that new gun, as Toyatu has to play with an HP deficit from now on. This is a dangerous move by the T1, hoping that the KV-1 will not spot their movement. But it works out beautifully, and Pluto is caught completely off guard. Toyatu is getting those shots in, just what they needed. With a 250 HP deficit, Pluto will need a miracle right here. But that's another bounce! The T1 now smells blood in the water, massively up on HP and with a DPM advantage. And Toyatu seals the deal, what a victory! It's always lovely to see community organized tournaments happen and we were more than happy to feature this one on the show. Toyatu played flawlessly through four rounds to win it all and thus shall receive 3,000 gold as their prize bounty. Congratulations to Pluto who also came close with a great call to switch guns. For being the runner-up, we shall award them with 2,000 of our finest gold. Well done to all the participants. Alright, that was fun, but now we're resuming our regularly scheduled program with Got You Baby 3 in the 1 2 1. Given the perfect matchmaking after purchasing our fourth Nox package, which also includes a free enemy tank worth of damage at the start of each game. Now that's a good deal if I ever saw one. Uh, yes? We're not selling those anymore. So how does he get all that good RNG? Just skill? Huh, didn't think of that. Well, now as I've just been told, this replay is actually all skill. Go figure. Which might be very convenient for any of you 1 to 1 enjoyers out there. As Got You Baby 3 is not letting up the pressure one bit. Even at the cost of HP lost. There's just no stopping our hero, is there? With 8.4k damage Dell just 5 minutes into the game, this seems to be a steamroll. Even in spite of some questionable plays by the friendly team. Oh, 
Oh, oh, didn't need to take that shot though. Tortoise is proving to be a hard nut to crack. And as it finally goes down, the overall situation has changed and not for the good. On that note, it appears that our shell count is getting equally worrying. Thus, we'll really need this Grill 15 to carry their own weight. Oh well. Whew, nice shot! So, now the math is simple. With two shells and two enemy tanks remaining, the margin for error is exactly, um, zero. Oh no! The Skoda catches our 1 2 1 out of position and got you, baby! 3 is done for! What a heartbreak! Our heroes seem near invincible for the vast majority of this game, dealing a staggering 13k damage only for one small misplay to result in defeat. Still, hats off for a massive carry for which Got You Baby 3 will receive 2,500 gold and a best replay style. Well done! Our final replay, we're sticking with a tier 10 theme. Metrovi Sundutch is taking their T110 E5 for a spin on Fjords in another game with perfect matchmaking. Oh, is that some early damage on the cross that I see? Now, despite getting some solid damage, this F4 position is not really a good one for the E5. Now that's our sign to get out of here. And join the usual heavy brawl on the 5-6 line. Would you look at that? Perfect hull down cover. Wow, that's rude. Now it's done. And Metrovi Sandach is not stopping there. Although with all four friendly tanks surrounded in an awkward position, this game could go south at any moment. Now that's not good, is it? Lovely play to quickly dispatch those two enemies. And just in time, as there's three more coming our way. Well, dealing with a turtle is one thing, but an FB 4005 as well? <laughs> the turtle takes the shell for us. is a mega splash hit can our hero finish it off in time yes that's insane 
insane! Now it's all down to finding that last remaining arty somewhere at the back of the enemy base. Oh! There! And a high roll to take care of it! GG! What an absolute nail-biter of a match! I have no idea how Metrovi Sandac managed to pull that one off. Just wow! Going solo against five enemy tanks and securing the victory with almost 12k damage and 9 kills! Surely one of the best Kalabanov's games we've had on the show, certainly one for which our hero will receive 3000 gold, a best replay style and the title of best replay! Congratulations! And with that our replay part of the show comes to an end. However, now it's time for your best screenshots! That's right, as long as you keep sending them, we'll keep rewarding them. So the top three of this week belong to No One with this beautiful sunrise. Kiv with this perfectly timed jump. Any Amirs with an image that would probably haunt my dreams should I see it in battle. Each one of you shall receive 2,000 gold for your effort and we shall contact you on Discord soon. As for the rest, make sure you submit your best replays along with your best screenshots to us. You wouldn't want to miss out on a chance to be on YouTube and brag about it, would you? And what else is there left to say but... I'm Adam Selgrove and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio!